Gilchrist and uh, transport. Uh, you probably worked out by now that transport is a pretty wide portfolio because two or three people have already mentioned it. Um, it gets in the way of all our lives. And we talked about um, buses, um, obviously. We tried to solve the problems of uh, efficient bus services in rural communities. Well, as you can imagine, we didn't get too far with that. Um, it, it's sort of, it is a serious problem. We did talk about the, uh, the village of Mighty, which has always had a very poor bus service. That led us on really to um, uh, our second point, um, which was um, really a, to look at a different way of community transport may actually be the way of moving rural transport forward. Um, it's, it's something you have to be very careful of. We don't really want to get in the way of uh, destroying bus routes, but where, particularly in places like Mighty, there are um, black holes of transport, then there may be a lift sharing or a community sharing, or instead of having bus stops, you have community stops where uh, people passing may be able to pick people up. Um, our major concern, and I'm afraid I'm going to bore you with statistics now, um, is the state of the roads. In 2009, when we produced the uh, local plan, 9.9% um, .9 of our principal roads um, were considered needing treatment. Uh, in 2012, the latest figures have gone up to 16%. Our minor roads, our non-principal classified roads, um, they were at 8.5%. Um, they're now at 12%. Now that's okay, that's... Um, uh, with a bad winter, that may be the problem. The average, however, for Wiltshire is only 6% for principal roads and 7% for non-principal roads. So we compare very, very badly as a community area in terms of our roads. Um, and we felt that this could probably only be put down uh, to a, a lack of funding priority in the area. We're told that our roads um, are not simple to maintain. There, there are issues with the subsoil underneath our roads, but even so, it would be nearly three times worse than the average of Wiltshire, quite frankly, is appalling. Thank you.